Christian Broadcasting Network, CBN for short, a Christian NGO that shares the gospel of Jesus Christ through the mass media and open air video outreaches. As part of making the work of Christ complete, CBN also supports communities with water projects so that they'll be able to overcome health problems associated with the use of contaminated water. The motivation for this is found in Christ Jesus himself. He is the living water. And when we drink of him, he ensures that we do not thirst again. So CBN Ghana hopes to point people to the love of Jesus Christ and encourage them to make him the Lord of their lives. Our greatest partner in this ministry is the prison service. And they are located not far away from here. And so this project is going to directly benefit them as part of also their outreach programs. Part of the outreach programs they do is to make sure that those in prison get to do serious work, either in carpentry, either in masonry, either in agriculture, and so on. And this will serve part of the work they do in agriculture. Because it means that when they come to farm here, as an extension of what they do, they will be able to have water to quench their thirst, to cook the midday meal on stones. Um, we've done that before in my house, so uh, when I was growing up, mm, uh, we used three church blocks. I like that. And what's your bank for you? Daddy sent me. Our hope from the CBN, I'm speaking right now as the chairman of CBN Ghana. CBN Ghana is of the firm hope that this provision <coughs> will nurture sincere love for Christ in the hearts of all our brothers and sisters who make use of this. Ghana Prison Ministry will also benefit directly from this because this is a halfway home. Our intention, the intention is to do certain things, but I'll let the uh, director speak, and afterwards I will commission it properly. Is right for me, Hanka Chibabi Fuel. So, for the prison ministry of Ghana, this is indeed a landmark event, and it marks the start of serious work at this site. The halfway home project is dear to the heart of this ministry because. Basically, we are called to help rehabilitate those ones who are incarcerated by our own laws and in the process to touch them for Christ. They are to pass through this facility, better people, with a bit of handiwork or handicraft, with a bit of money in their pocket, with a bit of skill. But without water, the whole of this stretch of land would have been of no use. So it is indeed life-giving. And the scriptures actually do indicate that when water comes, it is life that has come. Uh, traditionally, we also say that whoever brings water also brings life. So I'm particularly enthused that we have water, and that the water appeared at this site through the instrumentality of one woman who has been so much a part of the prison ministry, and providentially is also part of the CBN. I keep on saying that it's a miracle what we are witnessing today, Amen. because it was just a phone call. She was seated in my office. I'm not reporting it from someone. We were the only two there <laughs> discussing how we could get this ministry and this project off. Which I think CBN they have something to do with all who Maybe 
said it was the name of a young man. And then she called somebody. It was a Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. It was a Wednesday morning. And then she gave me the number of that person. And then this young man here came. But come Monday, the story has changed. So God has moved. Amen. And now we are to move. We are indeed very grateful to CBN. But our gratitude cannot go just like that. It has to go first to Auntie Joyce. Auntie Joyce, uh, to God, to God, to God. I will say to God, God be the glory. <laughs> but let me say, Auntie Joyce, the, the heavens open Amen. over you. Amen. And may you have cause to have joy that you were part of this Hallelujah. To our partners, uh, Ghana Prison Service. We have already had some informal discussions. We hope we will carry these discussions mm -hmm. forward and actualize them. And that you will be a veritable partner in the prisoner reformation yes. Yes. work. Mm -hmm. To the glory of God. Amen. CBN, you didn't know us. <laughs> and Joyce knew us. Mm -hmm. But at that time, she, she, I believe it was only providential that she even remembered that there was this connection. <laughs> so you didn't know us, but you have done the good thing. We say thank you very much. But you see, we are also the modern day Oliver Twist. Mm. So <laughs> we I've have already told him uh -huh. we need another one. <laughs> but to all of you who have come to witness this particular occasion, and the God bless you to carry on carry the message across. There is a lot of work to be done here. We need your support and prayer. Thank you. Thank you. So in the name of God the Father,